Hello, welcome to another review video. My name's Carl with Isometrics Photography, and I just acquired a new item, and the item is a GVM 7S RGB camera video light. Now, try to get it in the viewfinder. Okay, just a little viewfinder test. It's my first time working with this setup. So forgive me, everything's in the shot. <clears throat> Except for me, which I need to work on. But anyway, um, so this light I got off of Amazon for about, let's turn it over for you, for about, what did I get? I got it for $42. Uh, I had an $18 coupon from something, it might have been from my Honey uh, add-on web browser. I think I really didn't check into it too much. I just said, hey, it's $18. Why not? Boom. So I clicked it. <clears throat> got the deal. Uh, but it, right now it's up for $59 regularly. And I got this because I really needed another light. I don't like flash photography. Flash photography uh, is not my style. I can work with the flash, but I don't like a flash. I think most photographers will agree. Real lighting uh, is a lot better than a flash and regular lighting uh, usually where if it's done right usually works the best. However, so yeah this is this really helped me with my, is going to help me with my light shadow uh, well it did help me because I have used it a few times uh, with my light shadow uh, color project because it has a lot of colors. So let me go ahead and turn this on for you. Yeah. All you do is hold down the power button for about two seconds, and then, bam, there it goes. Um, it has multiple settings, too, and multiple brightness and saturations, and those are on separate knobs. Uh, the, the colors changing is on the top knob, and the bottom the knob is uh, brightness saturation. So if you press the power button again, you get a different color. And this one's the multicolor option, which is one of my favorites on this. I really like this because I like working with different colored lights and you can adjust the brightness and it has other settings too there's some white light, blue light, you know, color temperatures I believe this one is check the specifications for it uh, the color temperature on this model, the 7S is 2000K uh, to 56000K and there's another model, the 5S, and that has a lower Hey, there's a lower band of spectrums. So let's go ahead and flip through our options here. Just keep on pressing the power buttons until we get what we want. And you can use this for various lighting situations. Now, it has a diffuser. And uh, so far, my one complaint about this whole setup is this diffuser, uh, which isn't really a big complaint. There's a, there, it arrived with a minor scuff mark on it. Not sure if that was caused in manufacturing, but I don't know if you could see it on this, but I think you could see it on my thumbnail. But I was a little disappointed by that, that it didn't seem to affect the quality of the light significantly. So I determined uh, it wasn't something I was going to return it for. Let me try to find this other setting that I find interesting. I like this one. This one's nice. You get white and you get yellow light. Okay, so. Um, Anyway, let me get to the some more details about this. Um, oh, it has the charge indicator on the top. Right now, it's at two bars. Now, this is it. It, it goes to four bars. So there's one, two, three, four. Uh, it's at two right now, which means it's half full. So this supposedly has a runtime of four hours, claimed by the manufacturer. Uh, there was a question answered by the manufacturer, and it said that it runs for two and a half hours. I don't have personal experience with that yet, but it's looking to me to be about four hours, I would say. And it says it really depends on the intensity and what kind of um, what kind of bands you're using, or temperatures. Um, so that's that. Turn it off for a second. Okay, so our diffuser here just diffuses the light, obviously. It makes it so you can't really see the shape of the LEDs in your photo if you need that, which is quite useful for me. I usually use a diffuser. I prefer one. So it does attach to the top of your camera. 
Now how it does that is, I can get it here, you just screw on the hot shoe, and there you go. Fits right on uh, top of your camera, no problem. If I could just put it on my D5, which is right over there, which I'm not gonna get. <clears throat> Cause it's pretty easy to screw this thing on. Just goes right on, and you could put this on a tripod or a tripod, <laughs> a tripod also. Uh, yeah, because it does have the um, what is this? I believe it's an eighth inch screw. So you can put it on a tri tripod too. Let me look at the thread. H. Uh, no, let me see. Well, it doesn't really matter. The specifications are in there. You can get adapters too. It's either an eighth. I think it's an eighth. Um, yeah, but we'll move on from that. If it doesn't say it in the directions, then I really couldn't tell you. Probably not going to be something. Going to worry about too much. Sorry about that. See if it fits on one of my little tripods. Because I do need to use these in the future. Yeah, it does. Ooh, let's get that off anyway. So it does fit on. It does fit on very nicely. And that is absolutely splendid. So there you go, and this is my little mini tripod, which did not come with it. It came with the bag, the uh, charging cable, uh, and the hot shoe, the instructions, and several other things. Okay, so yeah, the battery life seems pretty, pretty spot on in four hours. It did it last little, I haven't charged it yet fully again. So it does come... Well, it doesn't come with an app, but it comes with an app that it's compatible with on your uh, phone or tablet. And you get that off the Google Play Store, at least for me, because I don't use an Apple. If you use an Apple, I believe you can get it on the Apple Play Store. I did not check up on that. So there it is. It's called GVM Easily. I don't know if you can see this very well. Let me put it a little closer to the camera so everybody can see Sorry, I'm not good on with on the fly focusing. But anyway, you can see it right there. Okay, I'm not gonna really to do too much on the app because just the way I'm shooting, it's really not practical. So I'll just talk about it a little bit. as soon as I come back from this cut. Okay, I'm back. So, moving along to our app. It's the GBM Easily app. Now, it connects through via Wi-Fi. Let me try to connect that right now. Let's see. Let me work through that for you. Now, right now, I'm just switching my Wi Fi network and I'm connecting it to my GVM LED, which has to be on. So, you have to set that up really quick, and they have a passcode to enter. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to it. See what happens. I only tried this one time and it worked fine. Just takes a little extra time to set it up in the beginning. You can use this as a light. <laughs> so yes. Let's go back. See if we got this set up properly. I did have a few things about this that I had issues with, but probably just because of my inexperience using it. It seems to work pretty well. See how I'm selecting the color temperatures just by using this color dial and the color, um, the, the, the temperature right here, 56 to 20. 
Uh, here's the color purity. It's here to 100%. And we've got our brightness right there. It also has another mode that's called uh, Lantern. You want to go to Switch Device, go to RGB Lantern in the menu. Actually, I was, I was already on that. <laughs> Sorry. This is switching to the... Um, I'm switching to the single double color let temperature layer. Sorry about that. So here's another fun and interesting. Oh, it disconnected. I wonder if I ran out of charge already. There's, there's a few connectivity issues. Connectivity. Oh, I think I finally burned it out. What do you know? <laughs> yeah, I'd say, I, I'd say, you know what? And this stuff really doesn't, it just does other things. I really don't need to show you this. It's nothing uh, really too different, but it is an, it is nice. It is a very nice feature to have to have that extra selectivity uh, for the uh, for the app. So anyway, I was surprised it burned out so fast. So I guess the a lot of the battery things and things like this aren't extremely accurate. So I guess let me see if it really did go out on me. Yeah, it did. <laughs> And that's another thing I want to discuss really quick is that I don't have a full tar uh, charge time yet, but uh, I will post it in the comments section about how long it takes me to charge this. I will time this. And um, all I really else I have to say is the instructions are very concise, to the point, easy to follow. I'm not going to really show them to you, but they're, they work great. And here's the instructions for the app. So I'm not gonna really go too well too through, but they've worked out well for me. They weren't difficult to follow. They were concise. They were clearly written. I was impressed with that. And the one thing I have to get to is uh, how I'm gonna score this. So I score out of one to ten, and you know, ten being something that's like, oh my god, I can't find a flow with it anywhere, and zero being well, it's got to go back <laughs> immediately. <laughs> or it's Come, you know, well, I don't review things that come broken. That's a different issue. Um, I guess I would put a zero on, like, if somebody, um, like, completely, if, if I bought this and I got, like, a banana peel in the mail, I would give the company a zero. <laughs> but anyway, that didn't happen. I got a nice product, which is great. And this is magnetized, by the way, if I didn't explain that. But, so with that being said, I give this... And I'm only taking off for the scuff marks just because, well, the, well, the quality control, I guess, didn't catch that. So I was a little disappointed because I wanted this to be like something I really, really thought was perfect. But it's very, it's pretty close so far. And, and I am going to, I was really hovering between 9 and 9.5, but I'm going to give it a 9 because of the battery indicator. That that finalized that decision because the battery indicator, it's not. Uh, I wouldn't expect some of these to be truly accurate, but it was at two bars when I started this, and it's lasted. The two bars that dropped lasted a lot longer than those two bars. So just for that being a little on the not as spot on as I would like it category, um, I'm going to end up giving this a nine. Uh, very good price, price effective, very nice budget, small light. Great colors, great intensity. I really like it. I love the app. The app's great. Uh, came with this nice bag. And like I said, I'm gonna post a charge time, which I'm gonna expect to be around maybe an hour, an hour and a half. Between an hour and two hours, I would feel would be reasonable for that. But if it charges quicker, I mean, that would be great. I'll definitely keep, uh, I'll, I'll definitely post that in the updates. So I'm, with that, I'm going to say the, thanks for tuning in. And um, if you want a nice light, definitely get this. This is a really good buy for what I got it for. Um, it's 59 I got it for 43 which I thought was a great deal. And I'm um, probably going to have a lot of fun with this. So you know, thanks to everybody if you did watch this. And take care of yourselves.